Hey guys, and welcome back to Tenchu Z. When we last left off, um, <laughs> we were doing something that I can't remember because it's been so long. We have done some more missions. I think we're now up to like mission 24 with everything done. So that's half the game. Um, so you'll also notice that. We should be on that, but I've already done it. Yeah, so <laughs> I recorded this one, and I started recording this one, and I realized my microphone was unplugged. So that was a little bit awkward. Anyway, this is probably going to be a very short mission. Save the captive agent. Mine facility. Yes, we go back to the mine facility. Yes, it is that mine facility. Uh, so our agent, Sakashita Itchy. Saka itchy shit has been caught by the enemy. Save him before he gives up our secrets. I we're going to just go straight for it. An agent has been captured in enemy territory. He's being jailed in a mine facility. Infiltrate the mine, rescue the agent, and retrieve his information. Yeah, uh <sighs> gotta do this one again. It's so annoying with this game when you've got to redo sections. I mean, I guess I could have done post-commentary, I guess, but eh, I'm not a huge fan of doing post-commentary. Um, I have dabbled with it, I think, in the past. There's nothing wrong with post-commentary. It's, it's, it's definitely a totally different style of commentary, you know. It depends what you're into. Um, I think with post-commentary, you can potentially... Uh, get a lot more uh, insight into the game and you can explain things a little bit better and in theory You can actually be better at the game because you're not using as much brain power Thinking about the game and what you're doing. You can just focus on the commentary. So yeah, it's just very time Intensive I don't know how we jumped on his back, but we did and we're rolling with it. Oh, he dropped something What did he drop? A bag of powder. Lovely. Let's hope it's not anthrax. Because that would be a little bit awkward. Alright, let's keep exploring the mine. I mean, we don't need to explore the mine. We've already been to the mine. We know what's here, roughly. Let's grab that. Bear trap for reasons. Okay, now you can see this room is a little bit of a target-rich environment. Very target rich environment. I think we've rustled someone's jimmies back there. That's okay. We can kill that dude. Oh. Get this dude. Nice. Yeah, be cautious. There is a guy all the way in the back there where that lantern. Uh, chap has just walked around. He's a sneaky little fuckwad. Definitely want to be a little bit careful of that prick. <clears throat> How he never detected me uh, when I first played this mission, I will never know. That will be a mystery of the highest, you know, order. But it is what it is, you know. Now, there is a couple of dudes here. Should. Be able to just fucking go for it. One. Go get the Tom. Two. There we go. Lots of moida. Nice. Clean sweep. Somewhat clean sweep. Now, yeah, just up there, there is a guy. Definitely want to be a bit careful. Now, I would like to have a blow dart here. But unfortunately... Yeah, that guy there. Definitely need to be a little bit careful. He actually saw me there as well. Good. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's come out. He's had a look around. He's noticed that there's thousands of bodies everywhere. And he's gone off on his merry way. Alright. 
that'll work. Ooh. That was sketch. Got a little bit impatient there. Jumped the gun. Definitely could have uh, thrown the whole level there. Right, you're done. Now, this one is a little bit iffy as well, because uh, there he is. This little sneaky fuckwad almost got the drop on me last time. I say almost. It was close enough. Ah, see? Got quite a vision range on him. He might actually see that. Yeah, he's going to see that body. He might see this one too. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Bring him closer. Nope. You can't stealth kill enemies. Free story. Free story. You can't stealth kill enemies, apparently. If they're in an alerted state. And I have literally no idea where he was running off to either. Maybe he was running home. Although, he wouldn't have made it very far. Because... Bless him. He wouldn't have been able to run through the rocks. Right. Oh, God. This area is a bit... of a potential nightmare. Those upgrades we got, they're definitely uh, making a bit of a difference now. Right, hopefully if he turns around. Got ya! Yes, that actually worked out incredibly well. Happy with that one. Now... He's got this chap to deal with. Hopefully, he'll turn his back to us sooner rather than later. Good lad. Good lad. Next, on to you. Nice. Oh, yes. Straddle the fucker. Tear out his spine. I'm not. I'm trying to work that animation out. I think she puts the blade down his back. Rips out his spine. Like a fucking badass. Oh god, we fell over, I think. Nope. That was a gamble. That was definitely a gamble. Almost didn't pay off. Right, let's wait for this guy to come around this corner. And we'll cut his neck. Oh, you stupid fucker. Thanks, friend. Thank you for offering yourself as a sacrifice. Oh, go, 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 go. Yes. And, oh, hey, cat. I don't know what the cat's doing. Oh, 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 oh. savagery at its finest. Oh, fuck, candle. That's not a candle, it's a firework. Definitely don't want to be firing fireworks in here, you know. I want to bring the whole building down on us. Uh, I've noticed our feet don't actually connect with the floor. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh well. Alright, it actually took me a little while to find out where this guy was. He's not actually in here. This place actually looks really freaking comfortable. I'm not going to lie. Oh, fucking hell. I'm tired. Right, Um. anyway... We need to go find our prisoner, which I did also consider possibly being down here. He is not down there. He's tucked away in the back. Hey, friend. Not really sure how we're going to get him out of there, but, you know. Still, that's more coin in the purse. And we like coin in the purse. Luckily, he didn't have to be sacrificed. Not bad. 2,500 gold. Wow. That's a lot of money. That was definitely worth our time.
I mean, we had to redo it anyway, but, you know, 53%, oh, 47% of the game left. Ah, oh, I, I, I can do it. I think, maybe, possibly, not sure. Uh, we're certainly going to go for 100% completion. Not on this video, obviously, but I'll probably update, you know, some, somewhere, whether I actually manage it. Um, but unfortunately, you know, it's a 10 minute long video, guys, but, oh, that's pretty fucking weak source, isn't it? Uh, let's try. Let's go for and do the next mission anyway, which is information gathering. Ah, location battlefield. Yeah, so, yeah, this is the one I started doing. Obtain plans for enemy base on a battlefield. An insider has completed a map of the enemy base. Go there and retrieve the map. I don't know what enemy base we're talking about, but sure. Skirmishes between Goda and Okawara are ready to begin. Goda is the weaker country, so it must know the enemy position to gain a tactical advantage. One of our agents has a map of their base. Meet the agent and get the document from him. Okay, and what we're going to do, actually, we're going to quit this level straight away. Uh, return to Ninja Village, because we're going to take some blow darts with us. Definitely gonna want some blow darts. Uh, because I don't remember this map at all, apart from like the few seconds of it that I played. Uh, equip items. Can I only take five? Okay, so you can only take five blow darts maximum. Uh, I mean, to be 100% honest with you, like if you could just take. I don't know, eight or nine of them probably would be cheating. Probably. But at the same time, if you have the ability to like hold nine items, I think you should be able to hold nine of whatever you want. Otherwise, it's a bit silly. But that's just me. Yeah. Okay. So what have we got going on here? Doesn't really look like much of a battlefield. If I'm being extremely honest here. There's a nice bit of ambience here. So we we'll definitely want to be careful. Yeah, I don't... Oh, hello. Oh, damn. Some guys have been cut down. Yeah, really doesn't look like a battlefield. Am I wrong? Am I judging this game a little bit too unfairly? Definitely doesn't look like a battlefield to me. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. That's okay. That works. Ooh. Ooh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. And there's the Tom up there. Good to know. Can you not? Oh, shit. I guess we can't quite jump up there. And also, apparently this is dark. I mean, it doesn't feel like this should be dark. Because it feels like, you know, a very well lit area. But again... What do I know? That was close. That was very close. Oh, he's got his little gun out. It's actually quite a big gun. Shouldn't really take the piss out of his gun, to be honest. It's not fair. Can't help the size. And it's not the size anyway. It's what you do with it. I'm guessing he ain't very good with it. Yeah, he sucks. You suck, sir. That's what you get for bringing a gun to a knife fight, I suppose. Ooh, nice. Okay. 
All right. I mean, it's... Oh. Dog. Do we want... To... Oof, okay. I say, do we want to shoot the dog with something? But, no, that works. So there are dogs here. I don't know if that guy's going to see me. That'll do. There's definitely a few bodies here. Oh, he dropped something. I'm not getting a... Like I said, I'm not getting a big battlefield kind of vibe here. You know, they could have literally strewn this place with bodies. But then I guess, you know, you could always say that after the battle, they probably cleared up the bodies. You don't want disease and pestilence roaming. You can see that guy has obviously had a pretty rough end. Ooh, we've got two soldiers here. Ah, and there's one down there, too. Right, it doesn't stop in one place for very long. Get him. Got ya. Got ya. Got ya. So... Got ya. Another guy. Just round there. Go for him. Go for him. Oof. Somebody has spotted me. Let's move. That was sketchy as fuck. Not really sure where he came from. That might actually be our documents that we need there. Maybe. Alright, where's he going? Got ya. Guess it doesn't matter where he's going. He's dead. Oh, wow. Look how bloody and messy this place is. Yeah, okay. So it's not a huge map. It's, yeah, somewhat complicated, uh, complex. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck. That was close. That was really close. I guess whoever's patrolling up here doesn't actually come down here. Yes. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. So, ooh. Drop something for us. Got to be another person around here somewhere looking at our chi meter. Ooh. Couple of people, apparently. Ooh. Still a lot of people around here. Right. Get him, get him, get him, get him. That'll work. Just Mr. Spear Guy now. Take some more arrows. Oh, we don't have any more. Okay. That was our first load of arrows. Curious. Got him. Okay. Good enough. Let's go take some lunch. Take some more lunch, I should say. She's going to be well fed today. Need to keep her well fed. Need to be a healthy ninja. Ah, hello. Oh, we could just shoot a dart in his neck, but... That doesn't seem to be... The best way to do things. Now, is he the only one? Is he the one from around the other side? No. Uh-oh. 
Damn it. Damn it. We just got spotted. Oh, that sucked. We were doing so well there as well. Ah, oh, that was almost like a flawless run. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Can we go in here? No. Oh, man, I can't believe we got spotted there. That was super unfortunate. But, you know, shoot a dart into the back of his neck. That's all he deserves. Oh, God, that's so annoying to get spotted. Oh, it's so annoying, guys. Really miffed about that, actually. Right, what's that? That is a shuriken. We will take said shuriken. Oh, God damn it. We poison him, too. Now, where's that last guy? Where are you? Where are you? You son of a bitch. There you are. Now, are you just going to stand there in that corner? I guess you are. But that's okay. That is okay. Right, I think that's everybody dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. They're probably the plans. That's the thing. Like, you would have thought the plans would have their own distinct box. But, no. I'm guessing whatever's here is just like a bonus item to pick up. Yeah, it's just a bear trap. You know, it's just like a random fucking bear trap. Oh, look, they repelled the defences here, didn't they? Or repelled the attackers, I should say. Uh, we don't really need spears and things. I don't see the point in the spears and whatnot. They didn't seem to really do anything. But, you know. Alright, let's go get the plans and get the fuck out of here. Literally just murdered our way through. And got a somewhat longer video. <laughs> oh, that we so close to not getting spotted at all. Really quite salty about that, to be honest. So specials. I wonder what counts as a special kill. Because that's 500 points. Is that because we used the darts? I'm not sure. Because technically, if we're using darts and we're getting extra points for special kills, the darts are paying for themselves. So, I'm not sure. Still, especially on this difficulty, when, say, the darts cost 300 each, you're getting 250 points for using one, but you're getting the 1.5 times bonus. So, you're actually profiting by using them. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And when we come back, well, more murder, I guess.